people often take those decisions away from those people who have dementia without realising that they're taking away a lot of their self-worth with it. Probably one of the, the biggest ones is that people with, they assume that people with dementia are stupid. They assume they can't think for themselves. Um, and they also assume that they have no idea what they're doing. And, and then it's not true. You know, people with dementia certainly have areas of the brain that are being affected by the dementia and they can't um, function in the, in the way that we normally would, but other areas of their brain are working perfectly well. Um, and they very often know that they are having problems in those areas um, and they are very able to often function um, in ways that you or I probably wouldn't even realise at a level, a high level that we probably wouldn't even realise. For example, you know, we, we assume that a person with dementia can't make um, decisions about their lives. Well, sure, they may have a problem with, um, say, finances because that's an area that is um, often one of the early areas that people struggle with, as do a lot of older people struggle with those areas like finances, but with people with dementia it seems to happen fairly quickly. Um, but yet they're perfectly capable of deciding where they want to live, what they want to do, whether they want to wear certain clothing, um, those day-to-day -day decisions that, that affect your life and your well-being. Um, so people often take those decisions away from those people who have dementia without realising that they're taking away a lot of their self-worth with it by not allowing people to decide their own outcomes. Well, how would you feel if all your choices and decisions were taken away? A person with dementia is no different. It's, it's very disempowering, you know, and people become very depressed and hopeless and helpless and, and all those, the words that we, you know, hear a lot in, in the care of people with dementia because we all need to be self-determining. It's part of being a human being. We all need to have some control over what our, our lives are doing. Um, and people with dementia are no different, they're the same, you know, and we need to respect their choices and decisions. And if they're not making one that is perhaps as sound as what it should be, then there are ways of, um, of just discussing it with people, changing their perspective a little bit by providing them with alternatives that are simple um, and that they can get their head around giving them time to get their head around ideas. You know, most people will come around to the right way of decision making if they're given time and um, people with dementia actually are no different to that. Sometimes you just got to spend a little bit more time, you know, slow it down a bit more. That's, that's probably the most significant thing for someone who has dementia. They struggle with getting information delivered too quickly, so you need to slow it down. But very often they can make really wise decisions if they're given the information slowly and um, and they're given it in a manner that, that makes it easy for them to take it in.